Hello, my name is Ralph Papa from PapaGallery.com, and today we're learning about acrylic painting. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to paint fire or flames that would be convincing that it looks like it's very hot. And here I took a little red and yellow and made an orange as a base, and I'm going to start off just, you know, how flames would, you know, sort of reach up. And I'm taking that orange with red into that liquid, and I'm just sort of rolling that brush, you know, keeping them as points at the top and wider at the base. So we'll so again, I try and keep it a little bit liquidy with the water so that it looks like it's flowing very nice. And this could be a forest fire, or it could be just a flame on top of some kind of a burner. Now we're going to accent it with some yellow in some of the areas where it might be nice and hot. And with the acrylic, you can put it on at all kinds of thicknesses, depending on how thick you, and what the effect is you want it to look like. So we can take that yellow, we can take some parts with just a straight red and just highlight some of the areas in the red. Don't forget, on a flame, the cooler part of the frame is blue, and the hotter part is white or bright yellow. And that would tell you, give the effect of the flames. It's almost just mixing those colors and getting the suggestion of them. And there you go. That would be using red, yellow, white, orange, and if you wanted to, you can even put in a little bit of blue in some spots, you know, just to highlight some of the cool. This blue turned green because I had some yellow on the brush, but I probably would have more liked to keep it in the blue family. And more of that blue. And we might even... Normally, you'd wait for it to dry so that the colors wouldn't mix into a third color. Here we get the green on it because the blue and the yellow together will give you a green. Once again, this has been Ralph Papa, and thank you for watching.